Hello everyone, Phoenix Valley here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 17 uh, Let's Play. It's been a while since I've done one of these, a really long time, I know. It's been it's been ages, many a moon have passed since the last uh, Let's Play. And the reason for that, I'm going to make it really short and simple, is I found them boring. Without the Let's Talk part added into the Let's Play, uh, when I would watch it back to edit it and all that, it was really dry. There was not much going on. And me personally, I just didn't like watching the video. So I'm not going to put anything out that I I just cannot bear to watch. Because if I can't bear to watch it, I doubt you guys can. So I I didn't I didn't put those out. Um, I just haven't recorded any. But uh, I do have something to talk about today. So I figured... Um, why not? You know, let's talk about it. Uh, let's let's uh, let's strike up a let's play. Let's talk for a, a week off. Hopefully, we can get some more topics um, to talk about in the future. Because I would love to to bring back the let's play. Let's talks. I felt like those were the best way for me to express express my opinions and you know talk to you guys about it and. It, that some of them help some other people. I still get comments uh, to this day on uh, those videos and you know, messages referencing a certain Let's Play Let's Talk and how it's helped them and such. So I really would love to bring those back, but I need topics. I, I can't, I can't just just make up all the. I, I you know I, I I like to talk a lot. Uh, you ask you ask my wife and my kid kids. Uh, well. The other one doesn't say. The oldest one doesn't say much, but the youngest one, she's always talking about how I talk too much, even though she talks more than anyone I've ever met. Uh, but yeah, uh, I do like to talk, but I, I need I need a I need a, a topic starter, man. So if you guys have any topics you would like me to talk about, you know, as always, leave a comment down below and I'll get to them. Now, before I get into today's topic, I do want to talk a little bit about what's going to go on tonight. Uh, first up, the mods will be linked in the description down below. So if you have not updated your mods yet, uh, f feel free to, to click them down below. If you want them earlier than, than the Friday <laughs> of it, make sure you guys, or before the day of live streams, make sure you guys join the Discord. I actually posted them there last night. Um... So make sure you you if you if you want them earlier, join the Discord. That's the easiest way. There will also be a Discord link in the description for you guys. Uh, <clears throat> there is a lot of updates uh, to stuff we already have. So make sure you replace all the mods. If you guys just have the mods folder in, just delete all the mods and you know just put the whole new pack in. I highly recommend downloading because so much has changed. I can't just run down a list. And give them to you guys because there's a lot. Uh, so uh, it's just easier just to download them all and just copy and paste. Um, make sure you replace them though because uh, there are a lot that have updated. Same mods like the headers have been updated. Um, the map the map had a huge update. A lot of stuff that was wrong with it has been fixed uh, with the new update. And we've added twink, you know tweaked it a little bit for our, to our liking and such so um, make sure you you replace it so there you go next thing up for the night I'm gonna put a topic over in the community tab I want to say first off thank you guys so much for for you know using that community I have no, no clue what it was all about and the fact that a lot of people have commented and used it uh, has been very eye-opening so I'm gonna post a little bit more over there when I can uh, but I'm going to post a topic over there for topics that you want us to talk about during the Friday night um, live stream. Uh, I, I've, I've really wanted to do like a podcast style uh, type of video. I want to move these into like the podcast style uh, video. But um, it, 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 it's hard. It's hard to get what group you know, videos we do already record, let alone uh, a whole nother video, a vi whole nother videos to do. And uh, the, you know, anyway, I, it just couldn't happen. So I'm thinking Farming Fridays, we could do 
somewhat of a podcast style where you guys can recommend topics that you want us to talk about. And um, I'm going to do it like a, a buddy of mine, Mad Cat Plays Poorly. He's over on the right-hand side if you go to my main page. Uh, he uh, does a thing on Friday nights where he plays a retro game and him and Action Johnny, they uh, they talk about some topics and it's on a wheel. So he just spins the wheel and boom. <clears throat> We're actually going to I'm going to kind of rob that idea from him. Sorry, Madcap. It's a great idea. Uh, <laughs> but uh, basically, it's going to be topics that you guys recommend and topics we come up with. And whatever topic it lands on, we'll talk about in the group. Uh, so it will still be somewhat sort of a podcast style video. So if you guys are interested in that, like I said, head over to the community tab and topics. Now, that's not. Don't post your topics for Let's Plays, Let's Talk over there. Post those in the comments down here. Post topics you'd like the group to talk about uh, on the community tab. Sound good? Okay, sound good. Uh, it can be anything. Like if, you know, uh, what's the um, F. Mary Kills? So if you got one of those, actually those would be interesting. If you guys got one of those, feel free to submit the, those over there. Because uh, I think that would be hilarious to talk about. Uh, you can be, it could be like uh, recent events, you know, uh, where we stay on certain topics and such. Like that. So feel free to put those over there. That should make Friday nights interesting if we do that each week. All right, now that I've I've rambled on about Farming Friday. Let's talk about a little bit more about my topic today. Now, um, <clears throat> when I first when this first happened it scared me a lot it really really scared me and then as time grew it made me realize just how strong of a marriage I actually have and how appreciative of, of my wife that I really am and uh, if you guys I don't know I have a weird inner you know taste of of youtubers I like to watch so you know my my, my genres kind of all over the place but uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, I found out earlier this year that he had actually f filed for divorce months back. I, I totally missed that video. And, um, of course, I haven't really been watching his videos lately. But it's just kind of like, whoa. You know, it kind of it kind of was like uh, how these they've been together for years. They had two children together. And it's kind of like, whoa. You know, if... if they can't make it work like, like dang you know that that's how, how I felt but it, again you know it, it, I don't know it wasn't too surprising um, for you know for his online persona that y y you'd see that but um, it, it still kind of made you stop to think now I'm a huge fan of boogie 2988 and please, I'm not saying anything negative against Boogie Two Nine Eight here. I'm a huge fan. I love his videos. I love his rambling videos. You know, he's a huge inspiration to me, and I, I just really enjoy his content. Um, but he posted uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, that him and his wife were actually filing for divorce. They had been separated for a while, and that really scared the crap out of me because. You know, he he's very open with his life. He's he, he shares it all in vlogs. He talks about everything. He's very open. The one thing he had been he never really talked about is any problems in their marriage. Now, when he, he made the video, he he did come out and say that his mental health issues were a very big factor in in the, him them getting a divorce. Uh, you know, he had. You know, when they would get in fights, it would it would be really horrible. He'd say some horrible things and, and stuff like that. Uh, so you know, he he did go into detail that there were problems that they never really um, go into. But when you first heard it, it's just kind of like, wow, because she was very active in his. Same with the other YouTuber, they were very active. Their wives were very active in their community. Uh, they would always sit in you know, the streams and talk. You know, they were always uh, tweeting back and such <coughs> to other people or to some, to their their 
husband's subscribers and everything. And it was like, whoa, okay. You know, you never really caught on that there was something going wrong. So it's like, oh, wow, if they can't make it work, you know, <laughs> how in the hell did I expect to do? You know, um, we have our arguments. We have our fights. These people are happy-go-lucky, and they can't make it work. You know, what the hell? You know, it, it's it's scary. Um, but that's the one thing you don't really see. A lot of people don't put out there that, you know, when they're having a fight, especially when your, your, your lives revolve around so much of the social media and a lot of people don't understand it's like, um, like the whole cyberbullying stuff. Well, you just walk away from the computer. That's not really an option when your job revolves around social media. You know, when you're a YouTuber, uh, a, a star of some sort, someone who's trying to build a brand, uh, you have to be active on social media these days. That's the only way you can grow. You can't just, you know, go, you know, dark and expect to still grow that brand. You have to have a social media presence. So for people who need that social media presence to grow their brand and, and stuff like that, it's hard to step away. But, you know, you know, when it, when it comes to relationships, when you're constantly putting on this persona, that everything's fine, everything's great, and then, you know, everything's hunky dory, happy go lucky. Uh, I think it festers. And again, I'm not this. I don't know Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight at all. I just know I really enjoy his videos, and from what he's posted online, you know, talking and such, and um, you know, it it. it it really sounds like things fester to the point where it, it was just, you know, unrepairable at the end of the day. And I think that's where the comfort for me came in. Because when, you know, it's normal. By no means think it's it's the end of a relationship if you guys are arguing and having fights and stuff like that. You know, arguments are not the end of the relationship. They're... The strength builders of a relationship. It's perfectly normal to have argue with your significant other. If you're not arguing with your significant other, uh, you guys have some severe mental disorders, and you might want to get them checked. No, I'm just kidding, just joking. You, you know, but at the end of the day, part of having a success, a sex, ugh, demonetized, a successful uh, relationship is arguing and you know, repairing what what damage there is um but see when 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 i heard that that you know they they didn't really discuss it and, and all that that it was it was very comforting to me because at the end of the day me and my wife don't go to bed angry uh we when we are having you know having it out we're, we're not pretending that it's it's everything's okay of course we're not online talking about like me and my wife get an argument. I'm not on Twitter, but like, oh my god, me and my wife are having a fight. No, I'm an OMG. You know, I'm not like that. Uh, she's not either. But um, we're not gonna. We 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 do step away from from social media. We don't, you know, we don't pretend. And I think that's where it really it helps out a lot. You know, we we know we're mad at each other. We know that it's, you know, there's there's an issue that needs to be resolved. And before we go to bed, we're going to work it out. You know, uh, the key to, to, to us staying, staying uh, strong, staying um, healthy is, you know, at the end of the day, we don't, we don't allow our problems to roll over the next day. We, we'll hash them out right that night before we go to bed. And when we go to bed, we still kiss each other goodnight. We still say I love you. And we let each other know it's okay. And I don't go, bat, bed, go to bed mad at my wife. And I would like to think she don't go to bed mad at me. Um, and I think that's, that's the sign of a healthy, strong relationship. And it... it comforted me when I started thinking about that. I mean, when I first heard about it, and you always when you 
there's been you know celebrities that have been married for a really long time like when was it last year or this year beginning of the year they had reba got a divorce after years and years and it was like oh, holy crap you know it's scary you know it's really scary my parents were together for uh, they were they got married when my sister graduated and they were still together when i graduated they div- they split up shortly after i graduated so they were t- together over 20 years um i don't know how long they dated before they ended up getting married but they got married in 88 uh and they split up around 2000 towards the end of 2009 i want to say um they they split up so you know you know 22 years of marriage at least uh so it, it, it's something that's always scared me, d- divorce and, and, and all that, because I, I've seen it happen so much in my lifetime uh, between family members, uh, friends of family, you know, stuff like that. And it, it's, it's really scary. It's scary. Um, luckily for me, I don't, I, I don't have the underlying problems that a lot of, a lot of those relationships had um, because... I've, I'm very open with my wife. She's very open with me. If something's bothering her, she lets me know. If something's bothering me, I let her know. Um, we take equal responsibility in a relationship. And at the end of the day, when we argue, we we don't go to bed mad. <laughs> that's that's the point I'm trying to get to. Uh, work out your issues. Don't let them just kind of don't just kind of put them on the back burner. Uh, if you if it turns into a huge argument, argue it out. Um, let it let it out and be done with it. Then go to bed and uh, be happy the next day when you wake up. That's that's the best thing I can say for you guys. That's going for it if you're in a relationship. Um, and don't you know. Don't let the, f- the failures of other people's relationships um, scare you. Especially when you are... Well, it's okay to let it scare you. But also take a step back and look at your own relationship. And find what... What... What was the... the what caused the downfall of that relationship? And if you have that problem. If you have that problem fix it and that's that's how to keep the ball rolling that's that's the best i can say um i'm 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 so happy (laughs) when i sat there and think about it i'm so happy to be with the type of person i'm with you know my wife who who understands it just as much as i do um that fighting is is physical fighting no you know verbal you know, arguments is a part of 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 a marriage a part of a relationship it comes with the territory um now the things get physical it, it doesn't matter if she gets physical or you get physical or the man or the female i should say <laughs> I, I don't i know most of my my people who watch this are, are men but um <laughs> or boys i should say uh, boys to men. Anyway, uh, <laughs> down on bended knee. Okay, sorry, I'm rambling now. But anyway, um, it's never okay to get physical at all. You know, if if you're in in a relationship that gets to the point of of physical altercations, meaning hitting, slapping, and stuff like that, uh, get out of it. If you're the one doing the physical attacks and stuff like that um seek like anger management or something don't it's not a way to go it it really is no way to go beating up on on people especially if you if you care for them that's just no way to go um if you are the person that is on the receiving end of that that physical altercations um then seek help Will it be a law enforcement, uh, family, family members, friends, uh, seek help 
get out of that relationship. You, you're 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 too precious to be in a relationship with someone who beats you. Um, that's that was one thing I can I understand it somewhat, but I don't understand when the will is so broken that people who are physically beaten can't get out of that relationship. That's I, I've never been there. I've been to to the point where uh, I had a, a girlfriend that was emotionally abusive um, to the point where I didn't think I could do any better, so I stayed in the relationship. Um, but that that's for me is two totally different things. When when someone is is emotionally abusing you. Uh, they're making you feel like they're, you'll never do any better and such. And, you know, that could be combined with with the physical abuse, I guess you can say. It could be combined um, when people are beating you. To, I mean, they do tell you you're never going to find any better and, and and so on. So, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely p- goes with it. But once someone starts smacking you around... To me, that's a that's a get the hell out of dodge sign. Just go. Um, you know, being alone is so much better than being beat on, in my opinion. I know it's hard because I've never been in that position. Um, but to me, that's just how my mind works. So, but if you're being physically abused, don't stay in that relationship. Get help. You're much too precious to the world. You have too much to offer than to let someone do you like that. But, you know, verbal altercations and everything, it's going to happen in every relationship. Like I said, if you're not having, you know, arguments with your significant other, holy crap, uh, you guys need need to talk to a therapist because you have some severe mental issues. No. Again, I'm joking, but... Yeah, that's not normal. <laughs> uh, especially if, if something is bothering you or your significant other, and that thing festers, it's gonna it's gonna keep festering until it explodes into something like divorce or a split up or what have you. So keep that in mind, guys. That is that is just a little thing. I I, I saw that and it's been on my mind, and I wanted to talk about you, especially as, like I said, I still get messages to this day from people. Uh, who watched a certain Let's Play, Let's Talk that's helped them out in some sort of way. So I figured, you know, this was on my mind. This is, you know, it, it made me stop and think and made me appreciate um, my wife even more and appreciate the, my relationship even more. And I figured I would, you know, talk to you guys and try to help you out if you're in a relationship, if you're, you're in a marriage uh, and you have you have some problems. Just know... You know, working them out is so much better than just letting them build into a destructive force. Right. So that's going to do it for the day, guys. If you did like the video, wait. Uh, if you did have suggestions for another Let's Play, Let's Talk, feel free to comment them down below. If you guys have suggestions for topics to talk about tonight, during Farming Friday, go head over to the Community tab. If you guys don't know what the Community tab is, go to my, my YouTube page. And there is, will be a section that says community where the about me and all that stuff is. Uh, click on that and it's kind of like a, a, like a, almost like a Facebook feed. Uh, leave, leave your comments there for topics you would like us to talk about uh, tonight or on Farming Friday. Okay, so now that's a way out of the way again. If you guys did like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see future Farming Sim 17 Let's Plays, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.